Hello guys, welcome you all to the PC Tips Pro. Today in this video, I am going to show you how you can create professional services website with WordPress. So guys, without learning any programming languages like HTML and Java, you can go with this WordPress platform and create your own attractive websites. Before we move further to this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Before we move further to this topic, let me tell you that they require two basic requirements. The first requirement is the domain. That means you need to buy a domain and the second is you need to buy a hosting. So guys, let's proceed further to this. First of all, you can open your browser and on the browser, search for domainracer.com or you can directly go to the website which is domainracer.com. So guys, here. I'm not going to buy the hosting because I already having it with Domain Racer and I really love their services. Also, they have very great services. They have instant support as you can see the support chat is here. It means you can directly talk to them and also you can directly contact to the salesperson if you are having any of the technical issues. So I'm only going to buy the domain here. So here when you open the Domain Racer website. Here you can see the domain option. So click into this domain and then search for the domain. Make sure while searching for domain, try to search for the name which is relevant to your website. It means the keyword of your website should be in domain. So talking about professional services website, I'll search for my professional and then click into search option. As you can see, there's many suggestions coming up. The first one is myprofessional.com and the second one is myprofessionallc.com and the third one is myprofessional.xyz so if you are a developer and digital marketer then i'll suggest you to go with .com domain because the .com domain will show your presence globally it also help to rank your website on top and now once you select the .com domain just click into this add to cart and now you can go to the web hosting but as I earlier said that I already having hosting with Domain Racer, so I am skipping this hosting part. Now we will move to the second part to set up your hosting. So again you need to go to the Domain Racer website. And here on the top you can see this login option, so click into this login option. And here now you have your credentials to login. This is the same credentials which you have created at the time of signing up the account with the Domain Racer. So use the same credentials to log into the account and once you log into your account you will see the services and products you have got from them. So you can see your active products and services here. Also once you click on the shared hosting and domain you will get the cPanel login credentials and the link also. So guys here I am directly going to the cPanel login and then enter ID and password and click into this login option. Now you can see the cPanel account here. Once you log into the cPanel account, scroll down it completely down to the bottom and then in the software menu, you can see this option WordPress Manager by Domain Racer. So click into this option and now you can able to see here WordPress Management. Also there are three options Install, Scan and Manage Sets. So click into this Install option. So now we are going to install the WordPress in our cPanel hosting. So guys on the top you can see it's asking to choose the version. So always try to choose the latest version. That will be good for your interface of the WordPress dashboard. And now it's coming for the site name. So it is my professional. Next it's coming for site description. So I'm taking here example is hey this is my professional site and now it's coming for id and the password you can change it according to your need so i'm here keeping it as same admin and admin and now i'll choose the language which is english now guys this is the last part we have to do is select theme so first of all click show all theme and now here we will search for the theme so it was about professional services website so i'll search for professional but as you can see there's no match found so i'll click into this all option and now select one theme from here only so guys i think it could be better for the professional services website so 
If you want to see the demo of this theme, then click into this demo option. So finally, I'm going to select this theme only, then click into this install option. And now here you can see it's installing now. This may take some time. As you can see, this may take up to three to four minutes. You can read it from here too. Guys, it basically depends upon your internet speed, how fast your internet is working. So let it be because this is the mandatory part and you cannot skip this part. Now after completing this second part, you can move to the last part that is how you can customize your theme and how you can give the right and attractive look to your website. So let's move to the third part guys. Now you are done with the installation part as you can see on my screen. Congratulations, the software was installed successfully. Also you have given two different links. On clicking on to first link, you can able to see how your website will look like. Now coming back to the second link which is administrative URL and from where you can go ahead to the customized website that means it will be your WordPress dashboard. So click on to this second link and it will redirect you to the WordPress dashboard. And as you can see here, so talking about the role of this dashboard, let me tell you, this dashboard will let you to make changes to your website. As you can see, either you can customize your website from here or you can change the theme completely. So you can also enhance your content with blocks and patterns. You can do the changes from left side also. Like guys, if you want to add any post, then click into this post option and then add new. If you want to add any media file, then you can click into this media. If you want to manage your comment in the website, then you can click into this. So guys, coming back to the website, at the top, you can see this My Professional. And if you remember, it was the name of the website. I have given it the time of the installation. Now in the heading, you can see, hey, this is My Professional site. And if you remember, it was the description I have given at the time of the installation. So these all are the demo photos you can see. You can also make changes to it. You just need to go back to the dashboard and here you can see start customizing option. So click into this option and it will let you to make changes to your website. So guys, let's suppose if you want to make changes to the header, footer, template pages part of your website, then click into this and then click into the header part. As you can see, it's preparing interface and now you can change anything in the header part from this. Again, coming back, if you want to make changes to the template, then click into this. As you can see, it's preparing interface and now you can able to make changes in the blog according to you. Now coming back, if you want to make changes to the about page, then click into this as it's preparing interface for the same. And now you can make any changes to this about page. So guys, I hope it will help you to start your own professional services website with WordPress. That's it for today. Keep watching PC Tips Pro.